Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jack from Rated Comics and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comic book review on issue number one of Lucky Devil. In case you guys are wondering, Lucky Devil is published by Dark Horse Comics. It is written by Colin Bunn, illustrated by Fran Galan, and the letters by El Torres. Now, Lucky Devil is going to be a newer comic as it just came out on the 4th of August, 2021. So let's dive right into it. Just to give a brief summary of Lucky Devil, if you haven't read it already, the story starts off in some sort of counseling office or self-help meeting where we are introduced to our protagonist, Stanley. Stanley explains at this meeting that he's done very bad things in his life, where the book then goes on to give us a reflection of all the past events in Stanley's life that led him up to this point. The setting of Lucky Devil takes place in New York, where Stanley describes himself as a loser working a boring job taking food orders for some company. Stanley, being susceptible to depression and self-loathing, turns his hatred into power when he gains supernatural abilities from the inner demon that's possessing him named Zed, short for Zedarex the Tormentor. With the help of his demon Zed, Stanley then goes on to murder everyone who has wronged him in his life, such as co-workers, his own wife that cheated on him, and even just random people if he's in the mood. After a while of killing hundreds of people, unleashing all these infernal powers starts to take a toll on Zed, where eventually Zed needed to rest. Stanley, now unable to use Zed, Zed's powers, was left with all the guilt, self-loathing, and remorse for all the horrible things he had used his powers for. Being lost as to what to do next, Stanley looks upon the help of an exorcism to restore his lost powers. Now, I can't say much more on Lucky Devil without getting too much into that spoiler territory, but what, can I, what, what I can tell you is that the story takes sort of this unexpected turn at the end, which really sets up a nice continuation in the series. Um, not to mention the artwork was great. It had sort of this like horror-ish kind of style to it, which really goes well with the overall theme of the book. Taking all things into consideration, I really liked uh, Lucky Devil, so that is why I'm giving Lucky Devil an official rating of an 8 out of 10. If you guys haven't already read Lucky Devil, I really recommend you guys do so. You can check it out using the link in the description. If you guys are looking for more comic book reviews or just plain old comic book related content in general, you know what to do. And if you guys want to check us out on Instagram and TikTok, links to that are also going to be in the description. All that set aside, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.